Frenchie's reign of terror came to a dramatic conclusion on Thursday's new episode of Big Brother. He had eight days in power and had the worst case of H.O. Hydus witnessed on the CBS reality series, but did he get at least one of his targets out the door? Boring is the word typically used to describe the first few weeks of the show, but Frenchie's paranoia made him change his decisions constantly. It was a chaotic mess of a week that also resulted in the power of veto being used in the first week, which rarely happens. At the top of Thursday's eviction spectacular, Frenchie was trying to reel in alliances to secure his safety in the coming weeks. First, he wanted to form the slaughterhouse, made up of himself, Alyssa, Brent, Derek F., Whitney, Keelan, Christian, and Xavier. Then, there's the French kisses, including Frenchie, Hannah, Azza, Tiffany, and Claire. He initially pegged it as an all-female alliance, but the females took issue with a man creating an all-female alliance. What is this dude thinking? Hopefully, the all-female alliance takes him out first because he's too much of a loose cannon to keep in the house. He listens into conversations and doesn't even try to hide it. It's pretty embarrassing, but hey, these house guests might just let him stay in the game. He's a big target, after all. Big targets have a habit of being used as shields in the house. Look at Nicole Franzel. She was dragged to the end of three seasons, despite being a big fish. The good thing about his new alliances is that he was the only one who thought they were official. Everyone else seems to think he's too untrustworthy. The only person seemingly on his side is Brent. As for Travis, he tried to campaign, but in the most unexpected way. He opted to give Keelan a lap dance for his 30th birthday. Gotta get those votes. When we got the eviction, Travis gave the most bizarre speech. He did it shirtless and said something about the mysterious stains on his bedsheets. It's not what you might think. I was pranked with shaving cream when I was asleep, he added. Alrighty then. In the end, Travis was evicted by a vote of 11 to 2, with the latter two being Derek F and Tiffany, aka his teammates. During his interview with Julie, he essentially confirmed he had never watched the game by saying brothers with abs get evicted first. Yep. He's that guy. Technical difficulties marred the head of household competition, but essentially the house guests had to pick a number and shoot a ball into a shark's mouth. The house guest with the highest number that successfully shot the ball into the mouth was the winner. Simple, right? Brent got an early lead, but was taken out at the last minute by Keelan. Keelan being the HOH is good because he went from being on the block to being in power. Hopefully, he plans to get Frenchie out, but something tells me he will choose a safer option. Big Brother continues Sunday on CBS.